Evan, I remember the first time I saw you. I was fortunate enough to see your tattoos. And if you've seen, if you've seen Evan's tattoos, you know what I'm talking about. If not, you can ask him later. No, no, no. No, no. no. Get your beer, get your beer. I should not have said that. I don't even think I should finish. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Evan, I always knew this day would come. From day one, you have been my person. You make me better in so many ways. You make me smile harder, laugh louder, and love stronger. I am probably a nervous wreck right now, but I find it calming that no matter what happens or how today unfolds at the end of the night, I will be your wife. <laughs> it's a boomerang, everyone. One, two, three. Time moved quickly and we decided to start drawing plans for a house. I knew I wanted you to be a part of it and I knew you wanted to be there too we learned what to do and what not to do in building a house. As we were building the house, I couldn't believe how involved you were. You had no idea how you were helping at times, neither did I half the time, but you were always there to help me and it meant so much. When the house was all ready for paint, that's when I realized how determined you were and I couldn't believe how hard you worked and pushed me to help you. Working on the house daily with you showed me that you were dedicated to us and wanted to build a life together. <laughs> We've done a lot of things together, all of us, you know, me and Evan, and we, we keep it interesting for sure. And the day I remember meeting Brooke, we're all on a party bus, we go downtown, and you know, they literally just started talking. And <laughs> we're in this bar, and Evan and Brooke are sitting over on the couch, and she barfs, and it, <laughs> Evan's, <laughs> Evan just sitting there looking at me like, I don't think this is gonna work out. <laughs> From meeting a young wild boy at softball who never failed to make me laugh, look where we are now. I have the best life partner who is willing to take me fishing at the drop of a dime, has embraced the dog dad role, the ultimate cornhole partner, and the one with the coolest dance moves. We finally finished the house and we agreed that you, JC and Jackson, would move in right away. After living together for a couple months, I knew you and the dogs were the one. I bought a ring, I held on to it for almost three months, I think. I guess I was nervous of what you would say if I asked you to marry me. I wanted to give it all to you so badly that I nearly just laid it on the bed one night. I'd just go down to my gun room and check it out and then just imagine what it would look like on your finger. <laughs> Evan, do you have Brooklyn's ring? Yes. I didn't forget it. <laughs> Place it on her finger and repeat after me. I, Evan, take you, Brooklyn, to be my wife. I, Evan, take you, Brooklyn, to be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For richer or for poorer. For richer and for poorer. In joy and sorrow. And in joy. <laughs> Say that again. In joy and sorrow. In joy and sorrow. <laughs> and I promise my love to you. And I promise my love to you. With this ring. With this ring. I take you as my husband. I take you as my husband. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live.
The feeling when you said yes and knowing that I would get to love you every day for the rest of my life is something I thought I'd never feel. You are the most kind-hearted, driven, honest, and loving woman I have ever met. You've taught me that love is never ending. It never sleeps or skips a day to day. It's a bond that holds people together. Let's do the damn thing. I love you every day, ever. At this time, it is my great pleasure to now pronounce you as husband and wife. Evan, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> we did it, fellas. <laughs> it was parked out in the woods, keys still in the ignition. All the cops were buzzing from somebody's bad decision. Call everyone you know, we found the evidence. He didn't think she could hang with us, but I tell you what, she she can definitely hang with us. Somebody stole a beer truck. Oh, yeah. It don't matter who it was. Grab a can and drink it up. Best keep your mouth shut. Man, we're good to go. Yeah, we hit the mother load. There's more than enough for all of us. Somebody stole a beer truck. You two are the perfect example of couple goals. Tonight, we get to celebrate the start of your new journey, and we know it'll be a great one. So cheers to you guys. Thanks for bringing us all together. Who knew our family could get more wild? Here's to Brooke and Evan and many more years of happiness. Or the one time we stole uh, Jalen Shelley's RV and uh, we drove up to Dayton. If you don't know what up's in Dayton, just get with me later. I'll tell you it's all about Dayton. <laughs> Shelly was pretty pissed when she found out. They were in Alaska, so she they didn't know when we actually took it. Joe, I think he was proud of us. <laughs> Evan Olivia's grandpa said when all them tracks were gone and the yards tore up and the shit's just laying over the damn place, it's all memories. I hate to say how many times I fixed the yard and all that stuff, but hell, they tore it up again last night. <laughs> <laughs> but all I can say is the little stuff like that don't matter, but I'm sure proud of all these guys. They're all like my own kids, and you guys have fun, and thanks for coming. Yeah. Thanks, bro. <laughs>